Jorge Masvidal's attorney Bradford Cohen told TMZ Sports that the judge for the Masvidal vs. Covington case allowed them to see the watch that Kobe Covington claims is a $95,000 Rolex. Kobe alleges the watch received $15,000 in damage after Masvidal attacked him outside the restaurant in Florida. Masvidal and his team suspect the watch is a phony with some fraudulent parts and isn't worth anywhere near what Kobe claims. They've also requested Kobe to submit a physical examination following his claims that he received a brain injury and that motion has been set for a later date. As you may have seen a few days ago, Nate Diaz went on a Twitter tirade by first posting, taking a piss on the UFC PI. I can do this because I get paid more than all you guys and they won't cut me. Then saying, these guys suck. Posting photos of Justin Gaethje and Dustin Poirier getting submitted by Charles Oliveira. Nate then said, and here's a middle finger for bitch ass Venom UFC gear too. Well now the bout that was verbally agreed to between Nate and Michael Chandler appeared to be in danger of being scrapped. Nate reacted to Chandler's interview on the MMA Hour, where Chandler said that he may have injured his Chin bone during his bout versus Tony Ferguson. Chandler said, God did not create our bones to crack up against each other like we do. I threw two kicks in that fight. One on Tony's inside right leg as he was in southpaw. Then he switched stances and I hit him with a really hard low kick as well. So my shin bone is jacked up. It could have a fracture in there. My ankle has had some problems in the past. Obviously, the dislocated finger. It was definitely 100% dislocated after having Dr. Jeffrey Davidson look at it. Obviously, me committing to July right now is not possible. And even if I'm 100% healthy, would I want to come back that quickly? We'll see. As you may remember, Nate originally said after UFC 274, July 30th, 170 pounds. Chandler responded, I'm there, quick turnaround. Spin your head on its axis, Nate. Nate heard Chandler doubting that he'd be able to fight in July and posted a blue cap, which is slang for telling a lie. Chandler replied, no cap, Nathan. I've got some scans to do to get cleared. Stay in the gym. Nate didn't bother responding and continued his Twitter tirade and posted a video of Gilbert Burns getting KO by Dan Hooker at Lightweight and said, shut up, bitch, go to sleep. And your last fight sucked. Two pumped up amateurs. Don't worry about Burns. He's stupid as shit. Following Charles Oliveira's submission victory over Justin Gaethje at UFC 274 and his dominance over other veterans like Dustin Poirier, Michael Chandler, and Tony Ferguson, the MMA community has started to talk about Charles possibly being the greatest of all time at lightweight. Alongside those notable names, he's also broken the record for most bonuses, most submissions, and most finishes in the history of the UFC. Well, Charles was asked if he considered himself the greatest of all time at lightweight. At first, he said that he was, but then paused and said, I'm breaking records. There are no arguments against facts. I'm the chosen one. That's the reality. I'm getting there. I'm becoming one of the best of all time. I don't think I am yet. One step at a time. I'm up there. We have to keep our feet on the ground. Be humble. Let people think that. What do you think? Am I the greatest of all time? That's the question. My age? 32. With records of most submissions and bonuses and so many other things I have to start writing down so I don't forget. Lightweight champion. 11 wins in a row. Of those 11 wins, only one decision. We're happy. Luke Rockhold is finally making his return to the octagon since losing his last fight to Jan Blahovic by KO back in 2019. He confirmed that he would be fighting Paolo Costa soon and was waiting for Paolo to sign his bout agreement. Luke even went on to show proof that his bout was signed and was waiting for Paolo. The reason it's taking so long is that Paolo doesn't want there to be a penalty for missing weight. Luke said he would agree to give him a 5 pound allowance at max. As far as why he accepted the fight versus Paolo, he said he needed a fight that motivated him and even went on to say that a bout versus Hamzat was offered to him but Hamzart rejected the fight. Luke said, The challenge gets me up in the morning. I'm not here to fight bums. I'm here to fight people that have proven their worth. That gets me excited. I don't get excited to get up and fight fucking idiots. Honestly, the Sean Strickland thing wasn't that motivating. Paolo, he's tested himself against the best and he's just a fucking piece of shit. He's a meathead. So there's certain parts about him that just get me excited to go correct the situation and get back on top. I want people that motivate me. Hamzat didn't take the fight, by the way. We were set to fight. He wanted to stay at 170. I think that was a wise move for him at this point. Tony Ferguson's motivation to fight after losing to Michael Chandler via KO hasn't decreased at all, as he took to Instagram and said, New energy. Thanks, coach, for taking the time to keep me active. I took a big kick to the dome this past Saturday inside the octagon. It put me out for a long time. It was a scary feeling not remembering anything from the beginning of the second round all the way until I walked up to the ambulance. I thank God every day I made the trip back to reality. All jokes aside, I didn't mean to scare you all. Should have done things different like keep my hands up and chin down. My fault I lost. Props to Chandler for the 
highlight real finish. I have many things to work on, not just competing. One battle at a time. I'm not perfect by any means, but I'll continue to strive for it in and out of the practice room. Perfection, an unobtainable goal. Someone wise once told me, perfect practice makes perfect. There's always more to learn and being coachable is big. I'm beyond grateful my movements are okay. My bones are intact and except for a slight headache in the mornings, I'm glad to be back and doing what I love. I want to be better than yesterday for sure. Not for anyone else, but for me. Making good adjustments daily and will continue to do so. And finally, all the main event fighters for UFC Vegas 54 have made weight ahead of their fights this weekend. As always guys, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button for me. If you're new, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date. Thanks for watching.